Hi everyone, welcome back to our new video of this series where we are discussing about space complexity. In our previous videos, we have seen the definition of space complexity and we have solved a lot of examples for how to calculate the space complexity. We have also seen how we calculate space complexity in recursive algorithms. So after doing so many examples, I always prefer to have a general rule, which is not exactly a thumb rule you should follow. It should be based on the algorithm and what that algorithm is actually using, right? But there is some general rule. If you find those stuff in an algorithm, you can define that that algorithm has O of 1, O of N or O of N square complexity. But again, I'm reiterating that it is not fixed. It depends upon algorithm to algorithm because if you remember in one of our video, we have seen that there were two recursive calls where, where the time complexity by calculating, we were understanding it will be of O N square, but it was coming O of 1. Okay. So a general rule I'm writing so that you can iterate through this rule. If you are finding any challenge to calculate space complexity of any of the algorithm, right? So first is when you can say a algorithm will have O of one space complexity when, when you have constant space, right? When you figure it out, there is no, uh, fixed, there is a fixed space. There's no, uh, loops, no iterations, no dynamic memory has been allocated to it. So we say it's a constant space complexity. And we have already seen whenever we get a constant space complexity, we say O of 1. For example, if it is an integer, float, all those data types where it is fixed. So we know that they will have a fixed amount of memory and there will thereof we say O of 1 space complexity. Also, you can say O of 1 time complexity when program doesn't contains any loop. Again, I am saying when program doesn't contain any loop again i'm reiterating it is just a general observation it's not a fundamental truth that you should follow always it depends upon algorithm algorithm what kind of logic it has been following correct next is sometimes of uh, any call to the function to function i'll say no or no call to function i'll write it not any a good term will be no no call to function or you can say recursive function again we have seen already so i'm just conflicting what i have already uh, told you in previous video that recursive algorithm can have o of one complexity also can have O of N complexity also depending upon what kind of logic it is taking. Okay. So remember that, but in general, but in general, if it is a simple sort thing, then you can figure it out that if there is a constant space and there is no logic, there is no recursion, there is no uh, other function call. You can say it is O of one space complexity. So when, when you say O of N then, so O of N you can say when there is a linear space complexity. This also we have already seen. I'm just consolidating in these points. And also when program has when program has loops has loops. All right. And you can say using the array using arrays now depending upon what kind of operations we are doing on arrays i am underlining to the points where you have to focus correct depending upon loops how many loops it has this thing will change but in general if you figure it out these stuff in a very common algorithm you can say it is o of n square correct all right let's go to the third point when you will say o of n square probability when you have quadratic or I can say 
टू डायमेंशनल स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी टू डायमेंशनल स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो वेन वेन यू फाइंड दिस थिंग इज वेन यू हैव यू नो यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड अ टू डायमेंशनल अरे राइट ऑफ एन स्क्वायर एन सो यूजिंग टू डी अरेज राइट इवन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन रिकर्सिव फंक्शन ऑल्सो राइट If you call recursive function within one other and you are calling both of them simultaneously, then what it will have? It will have O of n square, right? We have seen one example in our previous video where what we are doing is we are calling one function, not at exactly at the time we want to increment the other stuff. We are calling it separately. That's why it was taking O of one space. But let's take an example where. we have one algorithm in that we have written two uh, recursive function and both of them stacks uh, the call simultaneously in that case what will be the space complexity definitely it will be o of n square are you understanding that point right so this is general right i am not saying it's a thumb rule but in case you are not getting any start or or you are not getting any solution to calculate the space complexity you can hit on these parameters so one more uh, uh, stuff i just wanted to say if you want to visualize all this stuff in a graph though we'll be talking them in an efficiency class but we we i just want to you know consolidate space complexity over here to start and then we'll start with the time complexity is that so if it is o of 1 right is if it is o of 1 the space complexity it will be here because it is constant right o of 1 if it is log n the it will be little bit more so o of n is the least o of log n is after that then o of n will be the linear right o of n will be linear and if you say this way okay it will be o of n log n so it's a comparison of efficiency class also what does that mean i'll just explain you just a second and if you says it will be o of n square which is it's exactly not a straight line it will it will be kind of parabola though but i'm just let me see if i can make that okay it is o of n square okay so what does it mean means comparison so o of 1 will be less than o of log n then o of n and then n log n and then o of n square okay we'll discuss this uh, briefly in our next video but i'm just consolidating do i have told you the general fundamental so you can understand this way right so this is how we conclude our space complexity in the next video we'll start with time complexity so if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you